Hi everyone, uh, welcome to week two of the Grand Arena. Uh, we're obviously round one, uh, up against Skins. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on this one today. Uh, they have attacked uh, earlier and we've managed to get some good holds. So Bosk has held here and then in the back here we had our new team hold five times. So. That was pretty good, and then um, there you go, Darth Revan's held as well, and not been broken. Uh, any holds up the top? No. No, didn't try for anything up the top. So, uh reason why I've been keeping an eye on it is uh, it's set a reasonable defense. So, there's a Jedi Knight Revan, a Sarge lead here, Padme team, Bosk, you know, our Bosk got a hold as well, so like... It's pretty good, and then down here we've got a CLS trio, Darth Revan, and a Grievous. So very good defense. Probably why he lacked on offense a little bit, um, but so far he's posted 1500. And you know, uh, with one, two, probably six holds through this section, I doubt that he's got much left on offense. Um, so, but you know, we'll see how we go. I don't think we can full clear here. Those front seven teams are pretty taxing, but um, we'll see how we go. Uh, I've been, you know, uh, researching some counters, uh, especially for here. So we're going to see how we go here. Um, my current uh, thought pattern for here is. Um, I'll duck into some squads, we'll have a look at Grievous. I've actually made a second offensive tab because I've chucked a few of these around, but uh, I'm thinking my clones up the top here are a Grievous counter. Uh, they're a soft counter to Grievous, but I think all three being R7, we should have a good shot at that. Uh, then this uh, Night Sisters team with uh, Asajj, Daka and Zombie is a CLS counter so that will fix those two. Uh, these two teams down here are piecing what's left uh, after breaking you know, mainly that um, uh, clone team up and how to piece a gas lead and a bastard lead uh, but yeah so those top two are my counters and then I really want to try my CLS team against um, the Darth Revan team so that's uh, how we're going to take um, that first quadrant on uh, hopefully go three from three and uh, yeah see how we go from there so First cab off the rank, I think we're going to go Grievous. So, duck back here, use clones. We've got Rex lead, fives, and Echo. The main part of any clone, you know, counter against Rex is you want to use that, you know, Annihilate on Rex. Um, and you know, basically get him from full health to nothing very fast. So we've got rid of Magna Guard straight away. Let's, uh, you know, we can probably go after Grievous because yeah, ooh, that's not fantastic. <sighs> The stun. Oh uh, yeah, no, but that's fine because he fives his sacrifice. Wish me luck. Should be enough. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Yeah, got the old heart going there. I, <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna get that, but um, yeah, cleared that. That's all we had to do. Um, Next, uh, let's try CLS against um, Darth Revan. Uh, this certainly, well, doesn't work in 5v5 from what I've been up against, but uh, I'm pretty happy to give this a go here. Uh, no Malik is always very nice. 
and uh, the main thing is you know nice strong Han and you try to remove Bustler you know with this first move um, let's get a stun she didn't stun but there we go down and out go after HK and then just leaves us with Darth Revan a bit of luck. Look, he's nearly dead there. Lovely. So, yeah, 3v3, that worked perfectly. I'm pretty sure I just outpowered them. You know, Relic 3s and 4 uh, versus Relic 2 and a couple of Gear 12s. So that's really nice. Um, now, duck into their Commander Luke Skywalker. We'll take in uh, the Night Sisters. Uh, like all Commander Luke Skywalker. Count, you know, counters. You want to go after the Wookiee first. They seem pretty strong. Let's uh, rip some buffs here. Try to get a nice stun on him. Oh my god. Taking a bit of damage. Let's get a heal here. not working as well as I'd like. Let's get another heal. Just make sure we're topped off. Let that zombie pump their health and her Hassage's offense. Beautiful. Wookie's down. Now I think we're pretty Gucci. Um, let's oh, stuns. Let's just heal up. Yep. Yeah. Try to keep a stun lock on him. No need to. Knocked out. 51 banners. Beautiful. So front line with 3 from 3. Uh, pretty happy with that. Now back line. Half decent gas team, some separatists never to be underestimated, shark T clones, and a um, what's it called Sith trio. They look a touch undergeared, but they're all very good squads. Um, don't know if I've got anything for gas even at gear 5 so we might just we'll avoid him at the moment separatists hmm. just doing a bit of research I don't really have a hard counter for separatists either the triumvirate no, and then there's Shark T. Shark T, a counter is Jedi Knight Revan. So maybe that's a go there. Up top, we still have gas. We still have our gas, so our gas will counter their gas. But I was hoping to use our gas on Padme. Ah, nice sisters, Jedi Knight Revan. This is a yeah. You know, it's a pretty um pretty good defense. A counter for Revan. Is Treya, Nihilus, and Thrawn. I'd say you'd fracture Revan. And then just try and annihilate them. Probably annihilate Jolie first, maybe. A bit. I don't know if I've got. Where's it? Annihilate can't be revived so that would work 
Do I have any rebels? No. Alright, well... We know what to use for bounty hunters. We'll use Ray. Asajj. Hmm. Interesting. Asajj, we can use Trio. We are in a little bit of a... A little bit of a tight situation. I certainly just need to get some wins on the board. I'm surprised we can't use Trio for um, Shark T. Right, let's have some fun. Let's go. Let's get a win on the board here. Trying to use. Jedi Knight, Jedi Training Ray. It's a general boss counter. Okay. I know we have a feat to get like 20 secret intels. Last time I didn't go after Bosk. I went after Mando first. And Bosk managed to... Um, rocket one of my, well he rocketed R2, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately Boss got a taunt off and we didn't, sh well he's obviously got double Zeta. Um, yeah let's just keep going with BB-8 out there. Seems to be holding up. We do really need to get to these Mandalorians, because uh, next smoke screen we're going to drop on Ray, just to keep BB-8 out of the limelight. I've got a bit of a turn meter train going here, which I'm pretty happy about. There's Bosk down, let's just keep BB-8 out. Okay. What are we going to Let's strip turn meter from Boba. Let's remove Boba. Uh, let's keep Ray out there. And now we get to go to town on the Mando. Let's get rid of his uh, revive. And then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. He hasn't got um, his payout yet. So we can play around here. Obviously just trying to gain secret intel for the feat. That's them down now. So we check how many we got. Um, we're one point behind, so we're still going to have to clear another team. And I do have gas. So let me just ponder this in my head. Oh, nice. We got the secret intel, so we got a nice little portrait of BB 8. Beautiful. I wouldn't mind doing this, but. Poe and my resistant trooper aren't very good and um, <coughs> they certainly didn't place any weak teams so that's going to be a bit of an iffy one let's see let's see so I'm thinking Jedi Knight Revan here so I have Jolie and Yoda have Survivor, I don't have the Zeta on Jolie. Certainly make me feel more comfortable. Just seeing what I've got in the tank. Okay. Let's go here. I reckon we can do this. Um We 
we need to take Shark T out first. Jeez, they're quick. Alright, um, let's get Yoda to go. Let's pinch the buffs. Um, let's spread the buffs. She. I thought she would dispel buffs there. Yeah. So maybe the buff spreading is not the right thing to do. But then again, Yoda did just attack her back, which was pretty handy. Um, let's swap turn meter with Yoda. Uh, Yoda can get a double hit in here. That retribution is not very nice. There we go. Shark T down. It's a pretty good start. Uh, let's spread these, especially with the foresight there. Very nice. This counter has worked superbly. 52, so well on our way there. Okay, um, let's have a go. What do we say? Jedi Knight Revan, we can use Sith. Trio So or well not trio but Treya and Nihilus and then we can chuck in Thrawn So I think the aim is let's Fracture Revan, so that stops him taking turns. We can probably attack like Jolie. These guys just, they're probably not strong enough to do the damage through Treyas leadership. Um, let's swap turn meter with Nihilus, just to pump his, uh, yeah, bring that cooldowns down. Uh, Nihilus has got ability block. That's a bit of a pain. Uh, yeah, let's fracture Revan again. Um, so there was a cooldown increase there, I think. Oh, that'll fix Revan. Very nice. Let's see how we go here. Okay, Nihilus with a cooldown reduction get Nihilus to go again, we'll rip these buffs off of um, Pastela uh, what are we going to do here yeah, let's fracture Pastela probably just want to go as fast as possible so we can get off another Annihilate it's coming here we go, we'll annihilate Bastila. And uh, that's it. I think we've got this one in the bag. Fracture, we can isolate. Beautiful. So a few counters coming together here quite nicely. Um, Massage. Massage, massage. I'm thinking these separatists taking Palpatine, Vader, and then maybe sticking Scion in. Massage, I'm a bit unsure about. Maybe Bastila, and maybe f follow up with an Ewok. So here, and then go Sith. For this guy, oh, we can place. Um, he can probably go in anywhere else. Plug and play. Scion's probably better under Palpatine lead. 
Um, let's go for the B2. Oh, that was pretty crazy. I reckon we can remove Troidica. Yeah, very nice. There we go. Uncover new, knock him out for the second time. And then bust up the B2. Worked out very nicely. Let's go Asage um, next and we're going to take this team in. Not a lot of attack here. It's a fairly defensive team. Um, but you know, we do have that cleanse there so we can get through the zombie. Sarge is going to keep knocking our buffs off. We can just keep hitting basics. Um, yeah, that's very nice. Can, oh, that's not the assist. <laughs> I was supposed to call in an assist there. And we do have a buff immunity on a zombie, which is good. We do. I think we're just lacking a bit of firepower. Like the zombie hasn't procked one of his revives yet. Um, let's get the buff immunity. Just heal up to get rid of that plague. You can stay on top of plague, but we haven't got. It's cool. Come on, thousand. We dropped thousand once. All oh, that retribution oh, healed up. Shark T certainly hits a lot better with all those buffs. Um, we might just time out here. Three minutes, let's get on auto. So we try to get a few more hits in, but I didn't really do much retribution, too much. Come on, big shark. Come on, big shark. It's a second death for Thousand. Really need a heal from Barris. Oh, yuck. I can take out Talzin, I'd be pretty happy. It's one less I have to deal with. I don't think I can now with... Oh. No, not going to work. The team just lacked a bit of firepower, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Stun. Yeah. Get Talzin here. Yes, we did get Talzin. That was very nice. And we work on Asage. She's beefed up a little bit. Uh, go 
guy, a good thing. I don't. Oh, yeah. There we go. Health's pretty thick from all those revives. Oh, we got Talzin down. Wasn't a complete waste. Wait for this uh, battle to log. That seems fine. No, not going to work. Ah, looks like we've crashed. We'll just reload. Wait. Alright, back after the crash. Duck back in here. Let's see if that registered. No, it didn't. Fantastic. Okay. Let's take General Skywalker into Padme. See our first target is Padme. Got a bit of assisting here which is a bit counterintuitive. Might not be the best team for Padme. See how we go. Basic a little bit. Okay, and he can sat. Uh, not what we want at all. We might clean these guys up. Oh, yuck. Let's go. Yeah, well, that worked at least. Yeah, that's better. He stands up with a bit more offence. He'll clean him up again. Got scared. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Um, a bit of a look. I don't think I have a lot left. Ewoks will die to these guys. Gain too many buffs, I think, for gas. And yeah, you'd never take Ewoks into them. I could try Ewoks here. They've got a dispel to get around the zombie. They're a lot more powerful than the Jedi I was using. Okay. I don't know how much more powerful the <laughs> health is team just seems to tick very slowly. And we don't have enough healing to remove plagues and it'd be a bit of an issue. And Pop goes Chirper. Pop goes Wicket. Oh Paplu's standing up. Go Paplu. Oh good, I'm pretty happy with how we've gone. I'm sure we'll get the win. 
Um, chuck a few more teams in it. Massage, because if we do get through here, we get to have a crack at ships. Um, let's get confused on that zombie. Spread a bit of blind. And then... Try to kill some stuff. Um, let's go here. Yep. Blind again. Uh, I should have yeah, made a bad decision there. I forgot about the healing. Never forget about the healing. Uh, come on, Chewy. Not good enough. Alright. My last trick would be Arrow Night Sisters. Arrow Night Sister. Got Talia. And the spirit. Give this a go. A pretty low turn meter. Um, spread some plague. Go. That's some luck. This is not luck. <laughs> That's dead. <laughs> Alright. That's it. Wasted your time enough. Uh, we go on. Just keep throwing stuff at it. Surely we'll get something that sticks. Team can't be that good. A few AOEs, but nothing getting around that taunt, which is a bit disgusting. Yeah. The zombie's too fast, I think. Right, Android is obviously modded slow, so that doesn't help. Just wanted to prolong this by giving it damage immunity. So I could really blast that zombie for no reason. Uh, Alright. We are not going to throw another team at this. At least they got to throw five teams at our separatists, and now we've thrown four five teams at there. Night Sisters, just to pay tribute. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, we'll chuck up round two after this one, and uh, enjoy your day. Ciao. Hey, everyone. Now, uh, welcome to week uh, two, round two. Uh, just stuck in here. Let's have a look. We're up against J-Gods. Um no attacks just as yet uh, having a look at their defense seems like they've left a bit on offense um, no sort of relics um, a couple of relics here placed on defense but he actually had some relics uh, quite a quite a number of relics in his roster um, so look to take this uh, quadrant out so we can have a look what's back here and get a full view of the teams he's placed on defense Oh, sorry about that yawn. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we've got um, Old Republic here. A um, boss lead, bounty hunters, and CLS. Um, take boss first. Usually I use a 
JTR here, um, but with Django and um, Bobber, uh, they're quite powerful. Both have their Bounty Hunters Resolve for reviving them, and um, yeah, with one being a Relic as well. Um, I want to take CLS in just to cover all bases, and uh, well, you know, JTR can take out one of those uh, you know, under gear 12 teams up above. So, basically, starting this counter, you want to put Bosk under stun first, and then. Um, yeah, work on the other guys. Uh, I could probably stun lock. No, couldn't get a stun lock on the whole team. But oh, we can certainly restrict them. There we go. I'll get rid of Django fur. I mean, Boba fur. Sorry. Let's take out Django here. Then just work on Bosk. Nice and easy. They didn't take a turn. Full banners. Uh, yeah, nice little counter. Uh, we'll duck down to their CLS. Um, I've been using a Asajj, Dakar, and Zombie. Um, just taking out probably my best three night sisters, but um, to take out CLS is, yeah, I reckon it's worth it. So, yeah, always target the Wookiee first, putting him under stun stops his um, uh, assisting. Um, yeah, I reckon we can keep attacking here. We might heal up now. Just going to make sure that um, they don't kill Dakar. Make sure they target that zombie. And yep, starting to get a good hit on Chewy. Yeah, uh, leading with an AOE here. Uh, let's remove Chewy, and then work on the health. Yep, heal up, and we'll start going after Han. Nice stun. Yep. That's what we're looking for. Get us done here. Get a heal up just before we finish. Make sure we get yeah balance back. 51 balance, beautiful. And uh, going into Old Republic, uh, I've sort of settled on a Bastila lead. So extra tenacity, stopping these guys from landing those dots and. We'll go straight after Karth. We've got the Relic 7 Ahsoka there. Doing plenty of damage. And... Yeah, I'm not overly worried here. Let's just keep going after Big Z. I seem to pile on a bit of damage there, so... So I'll just keep going, that'll finish that one. Another full banners. So three pretty easy clears there. Uh, pushing into this back section. Have a look. Ah, that's where all the relics were hiding. So we've got a Grievous, uh, Separatist Droids, uh, Dooku Asajj with Watt, and then the bugs down the bottom. Just have a look up here. Hmm. What have I got left? I've got gas. I've got um, trio. So if I use trio on the bugs, Sith trio. Trio, gas, maybe gas and echo, we can two man something, then I'll use fives, rex and arc trooper on this grievous squad, um, and then maybe a 
Jedi and Knight Revan on something as well. Okay, let's go in here. Go this Rex squad, take out General Grievous first. So basically wanting to, I probably should head after Droid car when I can because of the damage immunity. Obviously not going to go after him now. But the, the main trick of this is to aerialize Grievous. Um, we'll use the uh, gear 12 Grievous. Makes it pretty easy. Oh, I thought we could go after him there. Just save that area lace for him. Yeah, leave it there. Probably could have two manned this. Oh, there you go. Very easy counter. Next let's take uh, the Sith Trio into this uh, GBA led um, Geo team. So they should take them out pretty easily. Ooh. I don't know if they keep pumping Nihilus. Ugh. That was pretty disgusting. Let's isolate that brute. I just really think I need to get that Zeta on Scion. Um, try to take out the soldier here. Really want this. Um, Spy out of stealth, there we go. Let's get a couple of hits on him. Come on, Sion. Oh, we'll take the hatred. Gain the 100%. Take out the spy. Just got the uh, GBA left. No, that's not what we want. Pretty sure we've got this in the bag. Uh, let's just place that isolation on him. He's healed up pretty high here. Hopefully we've got enough firepower to knock him out. Not the biggest hitters these two. those debuffs to do stay on a little bit longer this is where we need Nihilus so we could just knock him off um, the heels is just too strong knock that protection down but every time we attack he gains enough back we haven't even got him into yellow yet what's this uh, increase their cooldowns by one flick to isolate maybe I isolate the brute to increase those cooldowns Might be able to kill the, the brute. Let's 
see if we can auto this to speed it up. He brings the brute back. That's a pain. Unfortunately, I don't think we have enough firepower. At least we're you know, going to be a 3v2 basically when we come back in here. Just brings them straight back. Star right, he actually killed <laughs> Trayer. That's crazy. Are they gaining extra offense somehow? Like, they were barely able to do anything before and now they're annihilating them. Alright, so we drew that. We got rid of the spy, which is alright. Um, so that's the trio and fives. Rex and oh no, I put Echo. I put Echo with them, not Arc. So meaning you have to run Arc with gas. I'm just gonna take this squad up here with them. I would have preferred Echo, just because of the grenade. It's a bit of a blue, but all right, we'll 65. Just don't know what else I can. Newt is a hard one. He has fantastic holds on defense, and like trying to two man, it's maybe a bit too optimistic. Dooku lead. I've got plenty in the ps you know, reserves. Yeah, I think gas is my best team. So let's go like this. Uh, let's go straight after the B2. Let's get a bit of armor shred on him. For AOE, gas will counter that B1 all day long, which is nice. We'll knock this B2 down. That's the end of the B2, beautiful. And B1's down to 60, let's hit him again. The assist from the turret's nice and handy. Probably, if we get a chance, I'm going to pop this so he heals up. Oh, we lost him. Uh, let's gain an armor shred on Newt. Ah, he doesn't revive, so probably should have gone for Newt first. I went for B2 because I thought he revived. But I forget gas doesn't allow them to revive. Alright, and then we're going to use Jedi Knight Revan here. Um, I reckon I'm going to drop Jolie and I'll place Shakti instead. Okay. 
and we will go straight after what um, just basic here I think let's save the big hits for the big guys yeah let's call Reven in swap turn me with Shark T Shark T can call Yoda Raven can call Yoda. Let's spread some foresight with Yoda. Uh, detected. But we've got direct focus, so I'll knock out Asajj. Beautiful. Do you have to come back for that GBA? I oh, will duck up here. Um, Ewoks is going to be a difficult one. I do have Nest, but I think these guys are a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I have Nest. Scoundrel, Scoundrel. Yeah, we do have Nest. So maybe we try a Luke Nest Layer combo there. Um, I do really want to get this feat done with um, for sharpshooter so I need Finn, Poe and Finn, Poe and the resistance trooper so I reckon we try it here Finn, Poe, resistance it's a really terrible team so let's chuck them in, go for this feat Yuck. Maybe first order was <laughs> the wrong pick. Okay. That didn't work so well. Oh, let's knock these other ones out. We'll go. JTR into the B grade um, bounty hunter squad. We obviously take out um, the other bounty hunters all the time with it, with a boss lead. So this would be pretty uh, easy for these guys. Uh, let's try a stun on old IG88. Greedo's turn meter, keep hitting that IG unit, that's him gone, cool BB-8 in, what's the end of that, uh, stun maybe, no, tenacity up, we really want an illuminated destiny here, just to get that protection up, still going to call in the assist, Getting close, let's go like this, even though it doesn't do anything. There's the illuminated destiny, and this should be the kill shot. Lovely, 54 banners. Um, Phoenix, Phoenix is pretty low. I've got um, my Emperor Palpatine Vader team, I was going to use that against Phoenix, but Let's take out this first order first. I plan to use Ewoks. Well, they might be turn meter loaded. They sort of are, which is a bit rough. Um, let's get a mass assist. I was hoping that took him out then. Papu taking his damage. That's uh, crew gone, which 
is the number one target. He's probably the hardest to get rid of. Next, I want to remove this executioner because he hits like an absolute truck. Oh, everyone's hitting like a truck on that team at the moment. Yeah, these guys are not very geared. And they're putting their Ewoks to work. And my Ewoks are, you know, gear 11 and 12. They're the Ewoks I get um, C-3PO with. So they're not slouches. I've certainly got a handle on it, but, you know, certainly was a little scary to begin with. There we go, 30. And their Ewoks have a couple of Zetas too. So, got two options. We can throw Thrawn in, or I can throw Shaw Trooper in. If I'm going to throw Shaw Trooper, I probably should throw Sith Trooper in instead because I've got more gear. Let's go like this. He's got a pre-torn, that's why I'm placing it in there. Because uh, I didn't think we'd get to go first. But, Vader's fast. Beautiful. Um, really need to nail that Elder. Hopefully stun lock here. Yeah, beautiful. Vader with the chop suey. been nice and easy clear um, let's start with our oh no this is I was going to go the Ewoks with Nest but this is Phoenix so let's take this droid team in and I think we'll go after Kanan first just the fact if we can remove him nice and early um, Chewy special hits twice. He's thick, Kanan, even though he doesn't have a lot of gear. Did some damage. Got a blind out here. Double shot. No, he does not want to die. There we go. Now we'll go after Hera. So we'll do a couple of damage now. Yep, beautiful. Uh, I think I was supposed to use Technical Genius there, but the guys did the trick. It's nice and fun to use uh, Chewy and Chewy. And here, can we go here? Reckon they might do the job. Couple of droids, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh, bit of healing. Let's fracture the Brood Alpha. And probably should go. This might be interesting. They keep going after Droidy Car, I'll be pretty happy. Should hear the Brood Alpha. Still, do they have enough firepower? Maybe not. They're controlling, but it's the firepower that's the issue. Those heels, man. Far out, healed up again. Oh, there's one gone. This is going to 100% turn out worse, I reckon. 
So let's forfeit this. The heal on that GPA is amazing. Um, Night Sisters. Try stack as much. Like I don't have great Night Sisters left, but maybe Towson can stack up some plague. Nice stun. And that's three plague. Um, stagger. This could go okay. Don't mind hitting her. Uh, just don't want them to heal so that plague drops off. That plague still has to tick. Oh, thousand dies, we're in trouble. Again, not enough. Nest, no leader. Nest, I reckon, will go alright. Does the elder... So the elder can revive anybody. So let's let's go like this. Let's have a look. Elder's not bad. Uh, let's go to the AOE. AOE. Done on the Jesus heel to full. This doesn't look great either. Far out. There's no way Nest is going to get this. Fuck, if I get a chance, I need a forfeit, I reckon. She's hanging in there, but. Like, that's so little health. She has to die, right? Because I don't have the Zeta. We might be held out by this, um... GBA. I don't have a, like... What's that thing called? Like, Nihilus... Uh, oh yeah, my Mando's not, it doesn't have enough gear to have a disintegration. So a quick look at my squads. So a 5v5, here's a 3v3 panel. Really unfortunate that I can't get uh, this GBA down. I really thought I'd can I'd be able to. I don't know why Rez Ezra's not in this team. <laughs> it's another oversight. Let's just order this. This isn't doing anything. Yeah, you know, I probably should just quit. Why save the time? All right. Let's say we'll just leave her there and we'll go and do some ships. Uh, pretty average ships here. Um, Thrawn is probably the better one. Let's, let's try and do this without reinforcements. Certainly have more of an opportunity when they have to set two ships on defense. I've le left a lot on offense, I think, so we could be not in trouble, but it's going to be an interesting match when they attack. I think they've only got about, uh, no, they've got a while to go. Beautiful. About six hours, I think. I should have attacked that spy. Uh,
Beautiful. Gives everyone a life. Let's take this out. And finish off the spy. Oh. We can't target that. Oh, we'll give everyone retribution. Give Anakin critical hit immunity. Take out the Phoenix. Oi. Oh my god, what's happening here? Is she like immune to damage or something? It's like ridiculous. Surely, yeah. 61 banners. Very nice. And then we'll take out Tarkin here. Um, I can probably leave Ghost out. Let's go with the Y Wing. Put Ghost in the reinforcements. Just going with Rex is a bit beefier. I probably could have done this without reinforcements too. With um, with the Falcon there. We're gonna go after go after that first sort of tire pilot. We definitely could have done this without reinforcements. Very nice. That was a waste of uh, going for a feat. But uh, yeah, posted uh, twenty three fifty four. Uh, a bit unlucky that it wasn't twenty three forty five. We got two three four five. Um, but yeah, that's uh, not a bad day. Uh, I think. Yeah, you know, unfortunately we missed this feat. There wasn't a team weak enough for us to take Poe and Resistance Trooper in. Um, yeah, we could have got two on this reinforcement, which would have been nice as well. I don't think I've ever finished that, because we're always taking in reinforcements. Um, we have left the door open a bit with GBA there, um, but I don't know. Yeah, they've got Darth Revan, they got Jedi Knight Revan, there's Malix. Vader's, there's a lot of relics here, there. so yeah, it's going to be interesting, um, but we will find out in the morning. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know how we go round three, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next video. Like and subscribe, and have a good day. Ciao. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to round three of week two. Uh, we're up against Porkins. Uh, I'll duck in here, have a look. Uh, he has attacked and gone pretty well. Uh, he's attacked in stages throughout the day, so um, uh, I, I assume he's coming back to attack ships. Uh, so, you know, full clear on the t uh, top node. We've got uh, Old Republic here's had a hold, and uh, this has been really good. I tried last 3v3 with a Vader lead and always got cleared, and uh, now I've put Karth lead back in. Um, it's been getting holds, so pretty happy with that. And then uh, in the back here, Darth Revan got hold, and Newt got a couple of holds. So not clean, but uh, certainly has cleared those uh, three quadrants, and I reckon he'll come back and um, clear that ship. I suppose we need to have a look at his place on defense. Uh, these are certainly are third and fourth fleets, so certainly nothing uh, too crazy. Can have a look. Um, I know he has had an attack, so he's come back and attacked since uh, I looked the first time, and Thrawn with um, Houndstooth has actually had a couple of holds, so that's really good to know. Um, yeah, we'll duck in, have a look. Uh, quite a decent defense here. So I've seen Bastila and Hermit Yoda. Uh, they do some really good things on defense. So, you know, I've underestimated that before. So let's not do that. Got a pretty weak Hux here, but accompanied with a couple of nice relic Kylos. And then we've got here some Jedi Knight Revan shenanigans. Again, high relics. 
We've got Bosque, Bounty Hunters that are okay. We've got a good Padme team, uh, you know, a gas team, low level gas, but again, accompanied with some high relics. And then a Dooku Nest and um, a Django. So, uh, look, I was going to go here first. Uh, let's try clear this and then push into that back. Um, just going to have a bit of a look. I penciled in uh, my Bastila team to take this on, but maybe not with Nest there. Maybe I have to look at some Night Sisters or something like that. So we're going to leave. I suppose we do have Relic 7 Ahsoka. Um, yeah, and then we're also going to have some Sith, so maybe we'll leave this one open. Uh, the main problem we're going to have is the Padme up top, uh, and I've gone with a... We've tried this uh, counter before with another team, and it worked surprisingly well, uh, and that's Treya, Nihilus, and then Thrawn, Empire... Thrawn. Okay, so we've certainly got a um, sequence of attacks we have to do here, so uh, let's get in and let's hopefully we can get them done. These guys aren't too fast. That's not what we wanted. We don't want to see a stun. Um, and we don't want to lose anyone here, so we want to fracture Kenobi use Nihilus to bring those buffs and then we want to isolate Padme so that's a good start um, let's pass turn meter to Nihilus and now we can annihilate Anakin and yeah basically that's the start and let's see how we go from here um, let's keep attacking Padme Let's fracture Kenobi again. We've had a pretty good start here, so let's just hope it continues. There's three turns until another Annihilate. That'll make it one turn and beefs up his protection. Gain a bit of protection, and there's another Annihilate. Um, I think we just go after Padme here, and then this turns into a 3v1 with Fracture and Annihilate. So, well, yeah, that's a fantastic display of this counter. I am extremely excited about this. Um, yeah, let's go Nihilus again. You know, that was Relic. Um, Padme, Relic GK, Relic Anakin, you know, these, my mods aren't fantastic, these guys aren't really topped off for speed or anything, um, it's just purely team comp, um, that did the trick, I keep running through here, not annihilate him, just the fact that, um, we can top these guys off with some protection and uh, get some banners back. Now, oh, 52, that's a fantastic, you know, that's gear 12, try a lead, knocking out Relic Padme. Um, so, yeah, really happy with that. We'll tick that off, and uh, that's a great way to start round three. Um, let's go into here against gas probably our next uh, hardest team and I'm gonna take a CLS trio in I don't think it's too much um, yeah, like gas is really good and with these relics in there I think we have to go in there with a decent team and, and CLS is is pretty good um, so 
usually this is a counter with a like top notch CLS team and you'd go after Rex here. I'm just gonna stun a soaker so she doesn't get all those assists and we can go to town on these guys. Beautiful, that'll make him kneel. Stun him. Get rid of a soaker here, hopefully. Yeah, nice. Get rid of uh the arc trooper before he stands up. And I think this is game. Beautiful. And one point. So that's gas and pad made down. And Dooku. Dooku. I'm gonna do some uh, some thinking about this team. You really need someone decent to take out Nest. You know, that's gear 11, has the Zeta, 7 stars. Someone that reduces health. Um, you know, I'd like to knock this off so we can see what's in the back. Um, and I don't want to waste like a Night Sisters on here. Uh, I've got. What have we got up here? So I had the Basila team marked down as Jedi Knight Revan, but mm, maybe I just take Knight Sisters into that. The tenacity is not going to be great against Knight Sisters. I had Hux marked down as Shark T. Uh, my gas against his Jedi Knight Revan, and then a normal JTR counter here. Let's have a look at this nest. This is the so counter chance ignores taunt. The protection that's just bonus protection. You can't cleanse it. You can't do anything. So you have to try and like shrink her health pool. Uh, let's have a quick look at some nest counters. N Fess Nest. I don't even know how to spell it. I have spelt it right and nothing came up. Uh, what is she? She's a scoundrel. Nest on defense. Here's Ness, Emphasis Ness Solo. They've got here Darth Vader, Malik, Royal Guard. Emphasis Ness Solo excels against teams with a high attack rate and low power output. Days, Stun, Stealth, Thermal Detonators, and Tenacity Down. Yeah, maybe a Palpatine, because Palpatine, and I'm going to run Scion, I can either run Scion or Sith Empire Trooper, Scion places debuffs, no one in that team runs Days though. Days would be fantastic. Gas would be fantastic against this, but a Jedi Knight Revan, I just don't have anything else to take out that Revan squad. And I just want to get this down first. Um, so I had my own Bastila going up against this, but I'm worried there's not enough firepower to take out Nest. Sure, my Revan could do it, and then maybe Palpatine can go up against the Jedi squad. Jesus is a hard one because we make the wrong decision here and. 
that's it. I'm thinking Palpatine. Hopefully the dots and the stuns. Then you can hit Nest with a big culling blade maybe when she's got a lot of dots on her. Um, let's see, the Sith Empire Trooper or Scion. Let's have a quick look at Scion. He's really a tank. I don't, well, they both really are tanks. He can dispel buffs, so maybe dispel buffs on Dooku. Ugh. This is super hard. I reckon we go Jedi Knight Revan. Jedi Knight Revan. And who are we going to fit hit first? I think we want to leave Nest till last. Probably go Dooku. Dooku's quite squishy. Dooku, then Django, Django. And then Nest. That leaves Emperor Palpatine for the... Alright, let's go straight after Dooku. No stun. Um, what do I want to do here? Don't want to get attacked back. Let's spread this foresight we've got. That's beautiful. And now let's call Yoda in. On Dooku, he attacks back. Um, let's just special, make sure we remove him. Now, let's call Yoda in just to top that protection off. Ah, oh, he's had damage immunity. That was silly. That's. Yeah, let's go after Nest. Uh, keep tag teaming with Yoda. Now we're back at Django. We'll spread that foresight. Make sure we kill Django here. This should be it. Yep. Now we're in at Nest. Call Yoda in. Um, Yoda can basic here and knocks her off. So that's 53. So not too bad. I think we got 52, 53, 53. And we can have a look in the back. Oh my god. I honestly don't know how he cleared so well. Like, these teams are impeccable. Like, I need, like, a tra trayer back. <laughs> I need any, like four Emperor Palpatines. I don't think there's a way I can get through these. And like Geos and Mon Mothma both require those counters. Um, my crew is just not good enough. I might be able to take Night Sisters in here, they reckon. Okay, Night Sisters, Palpatine, that leaves me with Bastila lead with nothing. Bastila lead, you know, there's arguments of HK47 a droid team, but yeah, I don't know how that'll go. Not when he places lots of debuffs. Alright, I think we have to come back here. I think we have to change, avert our eyes up top, and let's remove 
you know, these guys are still pretty strong teams, so let's make sure we head up here. Hux lead. Um, what are we going to do? Yeah, let's go like this. Call in. Probably should call in Shark T there just to dispel his taunt. Um, seems to be doing alright damage. Just so I can get to one of the others. Yeah, he'll probably get torn back here. No, there's Hux gone. Um, yeah, let's just keep going after crew. He probably want an aerial ace crew anyway, so might as well change our focus to the other Kylo. Uh, let's top off fives. Didn't heal protection. Okay, we're going to... No, let's get rid of that retribution there. Uh, let's go after Kylo again. And then we'll pop off... Oh, doesn't work on this Kylo. So we'll just have to whittle away here. I'm very surprised that how that team works. If Aerial Ace doesn't work on Crew, I would have thought Crew would have just healed right back up. Um, so that's one decent team down. And we're going to go in against JKA. Um, and here we go. This should remove Yoda. Survivor works when I don't know. I didn't think they were able to revive, which is interesting. But certainly taking a lot of turns. Got rid of Yoda. Uh, oh well, there. Yeah, yeah, the Zeta revive probably won't work. Um, let's get rid of Jedi Knight Revan. The computer's not too smart, because if they probably direct focus Anakin and dropped him and then actually attacked my other tunes when they could lose health, they probably would have done a lot better. But, yeah, maybe I could have just two-manned that and saved Ahsoka for, like, this team, but not to be. Uh, we know we've got boss covered, we're a bit unsure about up top these two teams are my worry uh, even Tails and lead <clears throat> uh. oh, and it's Tails and with Daka and Zombie I've got uh, this is an amazing defense, I have to admit. I'm struggling to get my head around it. When he can attack so well. Um, they're certainly all formidable um, teams. I don't have a look at his roster while I'm thinking about this. You know, no clones, no ray on defense. No Asage, no Treya, Emperor Palpatine. He's definitely two man some stuff, I have to admit. I think. I reckon he's nailed a few things with a couple of two mans. I do have some average teams, like my Mon Mothma's pretty average. Um, this Bounty Hunter team is pretty average, and my First Order's pretty average compared to his defense. Um, Yeah, this certainly makes you think. Like it's only that top team I'm not worried about. Probably not worried about this or that. 
I actually am worried about that. Wonder if I can assage Daka something. Like maybe even a Daka lead. And then like Thousand Zombie Talia. I do have, yeah, I just chuck Spirit or Talia in with Asajj and Daka. Maybe that's good up here. Because, but what do I need for the Geos? I need Mother Talzin, Zombie and Asajj, they reckon, to take out those Geos. Which leaves me Daka, Talia and Spirit. Not that strong. I wonder if Emperor Palpatine and Vader can just take this team. You'd have to go for hard for Chirrut, I reckon. That would leave Sith Empire Trooper and Sion under no Sith lead. Yeah. You certainly push me into a corner. Yeah, like these guys are just average. You can probably put him as lead, but they're just not going to do anything. Poggle. I do have some droids. I still have Bastila. Yeah, maybe droids and Bastila into this top team. Oh my god, this would be pretty boring footage, but it's really spinning me out. That's where I need Twitch and people can tell me what to do. I reckon Bastila, Yoda, Jolie goes alright against Mon Mothma. Um... If I, what's my Bastila team? Oh, I just used a, and I've used Shark T. So, what's my third Jedi? Ah, oh, I was supposed to use Echo instead of <laughs> Ahsoka. What a numpty! So there, I have misplayed. That makes me feel amazing. Uh, and that's why you always use Squad Builder. I don't know, maybe that's enough. Because Echo's like Relic 7. Uh, he doesn't get that unique. No, and he won't assist either. He's pretty much there. Clone or 501st. The grenades will hit though. She's got the double. Can't be targeted and is immune to torn effects, so she still takes damage. I still think we have to take. Well, these guys do ninety percent less damage maybe we go Sith yeah. I'm thinking Scion, Echo Basila team's good as useless I've got Ezra I can throw in I can't believe I misplayed <laughs> yeah, I've got these guys 
is just not bad, but uh, maybe Ezra in here. He hits pretty hard. Base hits pretty hard though too. And then what am I going to use for Geos? Geos I was going to use. Nice no, sisters. I need to write this down because I think I've gone over it a few times. So it's Geos was Nice sisters. And I'm looking for the um, Talzin lead. I wouldn't mind using EP Vader and uh, Sith Empire Trooper let's go take out this boss team just so we do something so we iron out the thinking we do have the Ewoks. Do you think the Ewoks will be able to take out Poggle? We run this on autopilot pretty much. Would have been nice to nail and expose on these guys. And that's why I went after Dengar there. And now we're going to go after Boba. Oh, where's the stun? Let's keep Bosk under wraps. Ooh, what's happening? Oh no. Oh no. Not this again. This team fails me about once a month. Come on. No stuns. Uh, at least when he shot R2, he didn't get back his bounty hunter's resolve. And we're going to get rid of him here. Yep. Let's get rid of boss. We need that illuminated destiny. Oh, the stun. And they got their payout. There's illuminated destiny. Call in the assist. Come on, Bosk down. Ooh. Rip some turn meter. Yeah, lucky. Very lucky. Alright, I think I'm going to take some time here and think about this and I come back with a plan, alright? Hey guys, uh, coming back after a little bit of a break and a bit of thinking and I came up with a bit of a plan so that I think I really need to get rid of Bastila so I can get into the back here and knock these ships out. If I can take these two quadrants because I'm certainly struggling for four teams to knock this out um, I should have enough points to maybe knock off one team here and, and get the full clear um, you know, obviously I need good enough ships to clear the back here. I have negotiator in hand, so it's not, uh, you know, a terrible idea. Um, and as for in here, um, I've had a bit of a idea that HK actually does really well against Jedi. So I'm thinking of running a droid team with HK, 3PO. Uh, and Droidecker, and Droidecker's got the unique, so I'm just going to have a look, uh, not the unique, the Zeta. So this causes him to, or it to attack out of turn. Um, yeah, he has 35% uh, chance to assist uh, when another Separatist uses an ability, so uh, the, that Zeta doesn't do anything here. I don't think I have any decent seps left because I place most of them on defense uh, yep yeah. only uh, Asajj but I need to run her with uh, 
the Night Sisters. Um, but yeah, HK has quite a lot of um, uh, anti Jedi, and um, you know. 3PO is the droid, you know, hits fairly hard. He won't assist here, which isn't fantastic, but uh, hopefully it's enough to knock this team off. They're not overly hard hitting. I think Ezra's, you know, the one that's going to be dealing the damage. Uh, Bastl is there as support, and so is Yoda. So let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, look, it's a bit of a Hail Mary, but. Um, Let's see. Yeah, that's not a great start. Let's get this damage immunity up. We may just back out of here. Yeah, this is going terribly. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's call this one. All right. Ah, that was a big mistake. Um, Bastila, what are we going to use next? Um, maybe we have to go to these guys: Emperor Palp, Vader, and the Sith Trooper. It's going to knock out my. Talia, uh, no, yeah, my Talzin counter. I was going to use this down below, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to send it in here. And I backed out just to stop the, um, uh, you know, feeding these guys turn meter because there's no way I was going to beat them. That's a nice start. We got a few hits on Ezra there. Trooper's going to take the damage here. Maybe he's stunned. Just keep basic Ezra. We just need to work on Talia. I need to break through that protection. I don't think he's... Um, we can try a force choke, see if it feeds his turn meter. No, it did nothing. Just need to get through that protection. Come on, Relic 3 Vader. Talia is so thick. Oh, it's almost there. There we go. Grab some health, and now we can start stacking those debuffs. A shock. There we go. Massless Massacre. Nice ability block on Yoda. Beautiful. Spot on. Alright. Should have ran that first, and I lost 20 points there, so I might even have to take out two teams below. Once we've knocked out these, it looks to be a negotiator. That is going to be interesting. What are we going to open with here? Rex. Plow. That's him. Let's go. is pretty much again right we shoot five first and then we'll take it at Anakin want to get the buff immunity on his Anakin it's a great start now buff immunity okay uh, I should have put that that was bad all right Covers protection. Let's recover protection on Anakin. Okay. So come, we'll go after this clone sergeant. 
Okay, bring plow in, cleanse, heal up, pump some turn meter. Probably should have opened with the, our own tank and left Rex in the back. Alright, um, let's get the buff immunity on. Ah, uh, no buff immunity on Houndstooth. I don't know how. It's like gear 12 Houndstooth. And he's got tenacity. It's ridiculous. Alright. Now I decided to switch my targets for some reason. And we're going to lose. Actually, I should be going after Anakin here as well. We're going to lose our own Anakin. And that's pretty much game. Like. Uh, there is no coming back from that. So some misplays on my part there. Um, like some terrible RNG. Not getting that um, buff immunity. If we get to the bombing run first, we could be a chance. Anakin's low. There goes our Rex. Getting a few. If we can get in here, there's their Anakin gone. They got the bombing run first. That's generally a good tell on how things are going um, we can bomb here ourselves I think the thing I'm missing is something to take out a houndstooth and that's probably our only firepower left and they're pumping another ship on the field <laughs> Uh, we came, we saw, and we did not conquer. It was a pretty hard matchup, I have to admit. I'm not happy. I'm certainly not happy. We should have had this in the bag. Um, where do we go? Let's go Houndstooth. protection recovery just attack if we can get the hounds tooth down another reinforcement they just keep coming uh. This is a losing battle. Um, uphill. You can have as many analogies as you like. Killing below. <sighs> we tried, kids. We tried. We blew it. First one back. Alright. Oh. Let's do this to save a bit of face. We're going Geos and we go Towson Sarge Zombie. Take out these Geos. Make sure we spread plenty of plague. Use as many uh, specials as we can. Just keep spreading that plague so as they take their turns, it eats down their health. It's beyond the spy healed up enough. And then everyone healed up enough. Make sure they keep killing that zombie. We can heal up ourselves. 
Oh, and that was a waste of time. Plenty of offense in Assage now. Let's keep up these basics. Get a bit of health down with a few AoEs and we'll bust an AoE of our own. Here it comes. Not bad. Another one to hit Spy would be lovely. No, but there goes the Brood Alpha. And only Spy left. Lovely. That was a nice little counter. I can't believe we started so well with that tray counter. Now we're pushing it uphill at the back here. Let's try our last nine sisters against this Mon Mothma team. Where are we? Night Sister starts with N, there we go. Plenty of stuns. We need a dispel. Isn't that supposed to be a stun? Obviously not. This team's certainly going to lack firepower. Slowly whittling down Charut's protection. is pumping his protection up and she's getting that commando up too so this isn't going to work either probably just time out because I don't think they'll have enough to get rid of Mon Mothma uh, sorry get rid of Daka It's almost back at full protection. And true, it just keeps cleansing him. Whole base. Let's just auto this. See how they go. Nothing's going to happen here. We're not gaining any momentum. If he doesn't stack offense. Uh, where are we? We're not that far off. I'd like I seriously misplayed. Maybe take Ewoks in? Do they have enough firepower? We'll sure to find out. Bit of speed on them. Yeah, 
get rid of the tank first. Uh, 4v3. Okay. Both of these guys under stealth. Keep punching that turn meter. Basically, that cleanse is no good. Come on, wicket. Ugh. So many attacks. Ah, oh my God! Maybe change to Chirrut. Can't believe this team's gonna be the death of me. Basic then, I didn't realise he taunted. It's alright, let's keep going. Hammer Chirrut. Oh, come on, man. Base with that taunt. Get rid of the taunt. Let's go after Chirrut again. And we'll probably knock that protection down. He's going to taunt again. And we've nearly lost Wicket. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> Chirrut. Ah, come on. Yeah, forfeit this one as well. Jedi I have left in. I have to go after Magna Guard first, I'd say. We'll just start taunting at some stage. Just tickling him down. He's a relic. Uh, Ezra starting to take damage. So he got bloody tenacity out of his behind. Probably should have healed then. And there he goes. Oh, we stun now. After my damage dealer is dead, we can we're allowed to get a stun in. We've had some pretty horrendous luck. And we've played pretty horrendously too. You know, if I had a soaker in here instead of Ezra, we probably would have done better. It a couple of turns in a row. Alright. We finished absolutely appallingly. We started like a house on fire. I'm not very happy with my performance. But the show must go on. Um, nest solo. What do you reckon? Let's have a go. Let's see what happens. Where's the counter? Bit of dice. Probably need the uh, Zeta, maybe. This isn't going to work because they're just going to keep healing up. She hits once every blue moon. Is 
They're certainly not doing enough damage. She probably needs a Zeta. Hmm. Maybe Mace Lead. He affects Galactic Republic. No, he doesn't. He affects Jedi. We have that Relic 7 Echo. It's going to try and smash as many grenades on that Mon Mothma as possible. God. Again, that tenacity on base must be like huge. True, just cleanses anyway. Oh, and one more thing, my cleanses as well. Has one of these guys got? cooldown increase because I'm sure I've only used that grenade once and I'm still on two cooldowns that's one cooldown slowly getting there chance of taking one moth out with the grenade is slim to none here we go. Really does nothing. Oh, oh well. I'm so sure this is a bit of a fizzer. Done. Well, I apologise to end like that. Uh, I thought we were in for a much better show. Um, what am I going to do? Stuff it. Let's go in here. Like that. This guy. What the hell is happening? see how we go. Take out the rest of this. That mace doesn't seem like much. Bit of defense penetration for everyone. Uh, what if they get like a million turns before we get to have a shot? Iron cannon, this guy. Oh, nice. The Y wing worked. Now we go after Ahsoka. Don't need a heal up, so let's go after fives. Um, let's chuck the Phantom in, so we might be able to overwhelm them a little bit with uh, our reinforcements yeah that's not fantastic mm, let's go wedge target lock so we'll just go basic I haven't used that okay we lost one ship only fives to go this should do the trick oh no we only have one ship 
without dice. Disrupted his shields. Lovely. Mace. What are we going to do? We have terrible ships left. We're up against terrible ships. Let's go after Plow. That's a pretty good ship. Doesn't matter what level it is, that's a good ship. And all mine are level one. I've never even used these ships before. Going slowly but surely. Oh. Now I think we're dead. Boom. I think we were dead a long time ago, but let's just keep throwing the balls until we hit something. Three hundred we lost by. That's super disappointing. Just stack tenacity for one another. Well played, sir. Well played. I'm going to probably leave it there. I don't even know if this will make the video. But, uh, what's done is done. Have a good night. Like and subscribe. Chuck some comments below. I apologise for the woeful attacking in the end there. But, uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.